What's up guys? Alexi One here playing Soli Deo. Soli Deo. Solid EO, I don't know. Soli Deo Gloria. I really don't know what that means. Um an FM from uh, USA. So he plays this uh, knight g5. And well let's just go bishop g bishop c5. Well I can also go d5, which is the main line, but I like these types of positions. So we're just sacrificing material here. Let's hope he takes up the knight. Bishop takes is probably objectively better for white. Okay, so this is definitely more fun. <clears throat> I'm gonna take an F2. This is known as the Traxler variation. And uh, it's actually pretty pretty decent. Um, white has two choices, taking or king of one. And now we play d5. Uh, e takes d5 is the normal move here. I thought, uh, I thought king takes f2, uh, where was it? I thought, uh, here king takes f2 is a draw. c3, uh, is, is the move you want to play normally here, but, uh, that just loses. So we'll see, d6 is also a move here. I think I have to take with the queen then. Taking on f2 is the best. Okay. So I said a bunch of uh, different options for him, but he chose to do another one. d3. Well, let's just go bishop g4. He's going to play queen d2 now. And I think I'm just going to play bishop h4 after queen d2. Just keep his king in the middle. I mean, we're down to well, we're down a pawn and a rook here, but it's very hard for him. Okay, so now I'm gonna take with the pawn, just because. Well, I just don't want to uh, let him gain a tempo with knight f8 and knight f7. I want to get something on the f file as quickly as possible, so. Maybe I can even go something like, I don't know, queen of 8 or, no, not queen of 8, maybe d5. But I don't see the win. Yeah, it wins a piece if he takes with the bishop, knight takes, knight takes, queen of 8, knight of 4. But that's not what I want. I don't want him to have knight of 4. And if I go queen of 8 here, he's probably going to play something like king g1. It's also not what I want. I need to get this square. So maybe I should... Oh, you know, I should have taken... I don't know. This is interesting. Um, let's have a look here. It feels like I should play d5 here. Yeah, let's just do it. I mean, it's such a natural move, because I just want to open the f-file. We'll, we'll see if he takes, and if so, how he'll take, but... Yeah, as you can see, we're down a rook here, but... Yeah, it doesn't really matter for now. So this feels bad, I don't know why, but... I'm just gonna take and what happens if I go queen of seven? Queen of six here? Oh no, not e2. Okay, so this is. Yeah, this is pretty good for me. I'm just gonna castle. I'm attacking this bishop and also I'm attacking this knight here on h8. And also I can maybe go rook f8 somewhere. Yeah, this should be finished somewhat. Well, as we just sacrifice a rook, we're not even up material yet. But when I win a piece here, we'll be up material. Oh, maybe I'm not winning a piece. I highly doubt it, but... Well, in worst case, I can just take and go back and win this knight here. Maybe I'll just do that. Oh, I can't go back because of bishop g5. I'm gonna take... 
Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> that's also a move. Um, yeah, let's just play that. I mean, I'm down on time now. And I have to watch out for that. I like this g5 move actually. And now g4, this is the whole point. h3, I'm just gonna go h5. Just gonna take, and I'm gonna take this knight eventually. And I'm gonna play e4. Let's just take there. I mean, why isn't she resigning? I'm up two queens. And I'm up on time. Oh, okay. It was a pretty interesting game. Let's have a look. So, this is the... How do you call it? Two knights defense? Uh, and knight g5. I've played this before. With white. And, um... Yeah. I don't really like the positions with white and with black after d5. This is the main line. And here c6 is the main move. And in theory... Continues in a lot of ways. A so queen f3 is a move here. Bishop e2, bishop f1. But uh, yeah, if I go for this line with black, I can also play bishop d7 here, which is interesting. But when I was younger, uh, I was very tactical, and I uh, yeah, my trainer told me just to look at this variation, which is just it's madness actually. But yeah, well if white takes with the bishop. I'm just gonna go king e8, and I'm gonna play rook f7, rook f8, d6, h6, bishop g4, and we have some compensation. Um, my king is bad here, of course, but it's not such an issue. Knight takes is way more fun. I'm just gonna take an f2. So king takes f2 is also playable. I'm gonna take there, king g1, queen h4, and let me think. I thought g3, knight takes g3, knight takes h8, takes... I don't know, maybe I shouldn't take here. Maybe... I don't seem to remember. Maybe queen... no. Knight d4 then. I mean, this whole variation is just madness. You're, you're down 6 points now, but... well, we just sacrificed the full rook and we're... Keeping this knight on prees. If he takes, we, we have a draw here. Because of just repetition. King g2, king g5. And h3, we have d5, so... Yeah, it's a draw. But, he played king f1, which... Uh, is a good move here. Now d5 is the move. You don't really have to watch the, the computer evaluation because, uh, yeah, it's not the best in these types of positions. So as I said during the game, d6 is a move here. c3 is bad because of bishop g4. Check, knight d7. And now you want to take on d4. Because if you take here, we have this queen h4, which is pretty annoying. Uh, we can't, can't go to g1 because of this knight's mate here. And if we play g3, um, well, this is uh, just entering the whole king side. And there are some things like queen f5, threatening queen e4, knight c2, but there are also things like queen f3. I mean, queen f5 is definitely good. Oh, no. Those are the two threats here. So, yeah. So you, when you're in this position with white, you'll take there, but queen f4 and we're winning here. Because this bishop is pinned and we're just threatening to go bishop g3. And if uh, white goes g3 himself, it's a mate as well. So 
So d6 is probably the best move here. And we're gonna take with the queen. And if he takes, I thought you should take on f2 now, but oh, I'm mistaken, it seems. Bishop g4 is winning. Okay, so c3 then. And, um. I thought something like queen c5, but I'm not sure. Maybe queen c6. So I need to go bishop g4. And if we take here, we're gonna take on c4 and take on d4. And then play bishop g4 and work on a castle in the future, I guess. Try and win this knight here and just mate him. But d6 is uh, one of the best choices here. C takes is also possible. C3 and then something like d5. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. However, he went for d3, which I haven't really seen actually. Um, I know that when uh, white doesn't take on f2, which is probably the best move here, which is a draw. I can just show you that first. Oh, it's not a draw here. Oh, can you won? Yeah. And then I thought you should check. Oh. It's been a long time since I've played this, so I'm sorry if I'm a bit... Uh, uh, well, rusty, I guess. This is the... This is the drawing line. And then they go to h2. And now there was some, some type of repetition here. But the engine doesn't agree, agree here. It wants to play on with black. So it's maybe even better for black. Th this was a famous wrong line here. Um, maybe knight, knight a3 actually. Oops. So takes, check, king e1. Queen f6, rook f1. Queen e gets 4. Takes there, d3. Takes, takes, takes. And I thought knight a3 here. Queen g2, knight b5. And now, this was a famous game in this line. Went like that. But maybe you can play on here instead of just uh, repeti repetition. Play knight f6. Sacrificing the other rook. But uh, we're getting a bishop in, so. Um, yeah. So king takes f2 was known to be a drawing line, but d3, I know when white uh, deviates from uh, the main lines here, well the main moves actually, not the lines because, well usually you, you have to play your bishop to, to h4 when possible, just to, open, to get an open f line to the king, and so it seems like bishop h4 here is the best move which I'd played, so that's good. And now he plays d6, and I should have played queen d7, it seems. Just going as quickly as possible to this f file. I'm guessing c takes isn't bad, well it is, and now d5. So the problem here is h3. The point is, uh, this e2 square is defended now by the knight. So, I mean, if I can can play bishop e2 and then take on c4 without losing a piece, it's definitely fine, but... So, okay. Well, he took here. I thought bishop takes was more interesting. Because if I go queen f8 here, you have knight f4. And this isn't, uh... Well... I mean, I haven't seen this queen 7 which is actually pretty good. We're just going to plump on the e-file and try and get a mating net going. Okay, so taking on d5 is just bad. You should either just play h3 or bishop b5 or bishop b3. Well, now queen f6 is just winning. And this nice move is even better. <laughs> it's actually pretty nice. Because 
we're threatening to go queen f1 uh, checkmate, but also we're going queen f2 checkmate. And you can't really defend against that. Note that all the white pieces are horribly placed. Bishop f3, what happens? Something like this, probably. Uh, there's a knight on h8. <laughs> so this? You can't really defend against queen f1. Yeah, that's pretty nice. So 92 is also winning, but a lot less winning because of this bishop e3. But still, minus 7. It's just pretty good. Minus 5. Well, it's still all winning. And now taking on g5 is good as well. Queen h4 was a bit more precise. Because now we're going to take on g5 and then take on d2. But yeah, e3 is also fine. <laughs> Minus 15, which is just plain winning. I mean, I had to be somewhat quick, but... Yeah. It's a pretty fun game. Um... I hope you enjoyed. Uh, yeah, I hope you 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 want to play this uh, Traxler yourself now, maybe, because it's a pretty fun opening just to uh, well get some interesting games. So I hope uh, you'll try it. Bye bye.